guys keep watching as we put together the original and the knockoff Lego Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs, including in the Raptor and T-Rex from these giant surprise eggs. Keep watching. Welcome to WT Toys. Have fun. Okay, guys, today we are going to take these giant surprise eggs and we're going to pull out regular Lego in the Raptor and the knockoff in the Raptor from China, the regular Carnotaurus and the knockoff Carnotaurus from China, the regular Velociraptor and the knockoff and the regular Pteranodon and the knockoff. And then we're going to build all the rest of the Lego Fallen Kingdom Jurassic World toys. Wow, awesome. Let's get started. Okay, from our giant gyrosphere surprise egg, we are going to pull out our knockoff in the Raptor from China. And then we will build the original and compare the two awesome okay so so far it looks cool let's see let's go ahead and put this guy together and put the original together and then we will compare them okay so here is the original cool okay then here they are side by side guys usually I could recommend the uh, china knockoff ones because most of them are pretty good quality but in this case i cannot recommend it guys i mean it is ugh. it's terrible i mean i i don't like it at all i mean if it's something you're interested i'll put a link below the video but you know it'll be cheaper if you just want like an indoraptor but i do not recommend it first of all it's not even the Indoraptor body. The Indoraptor body is like thin. Uh, it's like attack slim. This is just a T-Rex painted black. And you know, with the striping and stuff. So the teeth are all black. They did not even bother painting the teeth. Where the original, the teeth are white. The arms, they don't click into places. They're flimsy. The hands do turn like the original, but Ah, this is one of the actually one of the cheapest ones I put together the legs do not lock into different positions Everything's just painted the same black. They did include the gold stripe, but That's pretty much the only thing that's close. I mean, uh, it's got like White eyes where the original has red the original is nicely painted the arms move smooth the hands do turn like I said very streamlined shape the legs lock into different positions and the tail is really long so you can see this one's a total different mold the one from China is a t-rex mold so I do not recommend that one and then our next one's gonna come from this giant Jurassic World egg with Velociraptor blue popping out Okay, and here it is. Actually, this one is not a Carnotaurus. Uh, I seen it quick in the package. I thought it was a Carnotaurus. This is a brown T-Rex. So, same company, so I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical what kind of quality we're going to get here. Anyways, let's go ahead and put it together.
Okay, and there it is. Uh, once again, this one is really cheap, and it it's kind of scratched up. I mean, it's like what? I don't know. I mean, if you want a different color T-Rex, go for it. But I definitely don't recommend it. But uh, let's put together the original T-Rex from Fallen Kingdom and compare them. Okay, so here is the two side by side. Like I said, once again, I cannot recommend this unless you want a different color because it's just, it's just really cheap quality. And I mean, even putting it together, it's it's hard to push the pegs into the holes and stuff. It's uh, okay. It is a new color mold, so that's kind of cool. But they just painted the teeth. They put it's like brown like a chocolate brown color with a dark brown with some yellow accents the arms are really cheap the legs are cheap they don't lock into different positions so unless you're looking for different colors i don't recommend it at all but anyways the one from lego the head locks into different positions it locks and clicks side by side the teeth are actually painted this is a new color scheme by lego for fallen kingdom so it is cool the arms move and the legs lock into different positions so definitely if you're gonna go for it try to get the original but you can't just buy them separate they are included in sets Okay, and our next one we're going to get from this Jurassic World popcorn egg. This is from the original movie. Okay, and this one is a new colored Velociraptor. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out. It also looks like this one includes Owen. So, I don't know, is this supposed to be Velociraptor blue? Except he's red and black. So, if it is, they've definitely changed it. I do. So here is our new Velociraptor. Uh, I think we're gonna have to change it from Velociraptor blue to Velociraptor red. <laughs> don't know why he's red and black. Uh, I guess they don't want to get in licensing troubles, but they still did call it the Indoraptor and T-Rex, so I don't know. But anyways, I do like this color. This is probably the coolest color scheme raptor I ever seen. So it's like red and black with like gray and black accents. The mouth opens, the arms move. Once again, really cheap quality. It does have the third call claw. But when you put it together, you could feel the quality of the piece. So like I said, unless you want new color schemes, and then this is Owen. It doesn't look like Owen at all. Only thing that looks like Owen is the best. And he has some type of Ninjago type axe or something. So that's weird. I don't know if he's going to try to kill Blue or something. Okay, but anyways, here is the Velociraptor Blue that came with the Lego set. So we could go ahead and compare the two. Uh, well, I mean, one of the first differences is the color. Velociraptor blue here is like a light green. He's got his blue stripes and he's got like a grayish brownish uh, legs and like light brown arms. 
moth does open and close. Uh, you could feel the difference in quality right away. I mean, the Lego one went together super smooth. This one, you really had to fight to get it together. So unless you're looking for new color scheme Legos, try to stay away. And then over here, we have the generic Tranodon that came in the same package. Let us see who is included in here. Okay, so let's put it together. So here is the generic Pteranodon all put together. I actually like how the wings go on this. They move smoother actually than the original ones because it locks into the top and the bottom. So that's kind of cool. The color is a little different. It's like a dark gray orange. Once again, maybe they didn't want to get into licensing troubles. And then this one comes with some type of a scientist. I don't know who it is. He's got like a beaker here of some type of blue fluid. Okay, and then here we have our original Pteranodon. Okay, so here is a difference between the two. The, Original you got like a dark gray like a reddish color goes together super smooth uh, Super smooth movement on its head and everything the uh, knockoff the leg the wings do move smooth It's like a dark gray orange uh, And the mouth doesn't really go back and forth very smoothly uh, Not too bad. So there is a difference between the two and then we have our next one, which is the original Carnotaurus. I do not have a generic one. And like I said, uh, the original ones, they go together a lot smoother than the generic ones. And they're just so much better quality. This one, you've got the head that locks into different positions. It does click and turn. The jaw does open. You have like the uh, horns on its head, arms move. The legs lock into different positions. So a really cool Lego Carnotaurus. Okay, and then our next one is the T-Rex. There is the original uh, T-Rex that came. This is the same, looks like the same T-Rex that came with the uh, Jurassic World 1. So the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 1 is very similar. Mouth does open and close. Head locks into different positions. Legs click and lock into different positions. And like I said, Lego goes together super smooth and it's a lot more durable. Okay, and then our next one is the original Lego Stiggy Malak. Okay, so the original Lego one, uh, great head movement. The mold looks awesome. Arms move, legs move. Very good quality Lego Stiggy Malak. Okay, and then from this giant, freaky Velociraptor blue egg, we get our next one. This is a Legacy Edition Velociraptor. Okay, Legacy Edition Velociraptor. Very similar to blue, but this is like a light brown dark brown coloring with yellow eyes mouth opens closes arms move leg moves got a nice colored third claw really cool looking ok 
Okay, and our next one is the Lego original Dilophosaurus. Okay, so there is the Lego original Dilophosaurus. If you had the uh, Jurassic World 1 set, this is the same coloring for the Dilophosaurus. The head does move, the arms, uh, I mean the mouth opens and closes, the arms move, the leg moves. So cool looking little Dilophosaurus. Okay, then our final one is a Velociraptor. So this is also one of the Legacy Edition Velociraptors that came in one of the Legacy uh, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park set. It's for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but it's the uh, Jurassic Park uh, Anniversary set. So arms move, mouth does open and close, the head turns, the legs turn, nice colored third claw. Really cool looking. Whoa, guys, that was totally awesome. If you enjoyed that video, please go ahead, click like, drop me comments. I do also have over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby Doo, and a lot more. Check out the playlist on my channel or wait till this video ends for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom videos. You guys are awesome and I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word... Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos and if you want to see even more go ahead and click the subscribe button.